This November, voters will decide on HISD's $4.4 billion bond proposal. The district says that the funds are crucial for upgrades like heating, AC, and also security, and also for expanding education programs. And while some support the plan, others strongly oppose it, citing distrust in the state-appointed leadership. KPRC 2's Candace Burns spoke with people on both sides of the issue to help you prepare before heading to the polls. Can you walk us through the district's plan to ensure transparency? We have outlined in the ballot language that um, this school is getting X amount of dollars for health and safety, air conditioning, whatever it is. We have an oversight committee that will be both an independent group of citizens in Houston and then also uh, our own internal oversight group. Can you explain why $4.4 billion is the right amount for the district's needs right now? We've had five different groups look at this, not, not just the district, to assess the, the state of our facilities and our infrastructure. The need is $10 billion. Um, but we had to choose an amount that the community could afford and the community would, would want. Now he wants a blank check from the taxpayers that would eventually cost us $8.9 billion in 30 years to pay. Community members are speaking out on the bond, which would be the largest in Texas history. The district says it will rebuild schools, upgrade HVAC systems, improve security, and expand programs without immediate tax increases. There's no doubt that if we have better schools, if we have better pre-K, if we do all the things that this bond, can, this bond issue can do, uh, will this be better off for children? Both sides agree HISD needs the improvements, but opponents don't support approving the bond under the current state-appointed administration. And as a parent, it's just a nightmare thinking about what's going on within the district, having an unelected superintendent and school board making decisions and deciding to spend our taxpayer money. It's a matter of trust or investing in critical needs now, and voters will decide. And let's vote for people that we trust. We do not trust Mike Miles. If we don't vote for this right now, we're going to be voting for it in a couple of years, and it will pass in a couple of years. Uh, but the fact of the matter is there's going to be a whole group of kids that have fallen behind. Candace Burns, KPRC2 News.